Yesterday, I came across a very interesting uh, interviewing question from BlackRock. So for the people that don't know what BlackRock is, BlackRock is a trading firm. It's actually way more. Um, but this is specifically an interview question for quantitative analysts, right? So what are quantitative analysts? So a quant is basically an engineer, uh, so to say, that creates algorithms uh, enabled to trade on the market, right? Simplified, simplified, right? Just algorithms uh, for trading. That's basically what it is. These guys came up with this beautiful interviewing question that really got my attention. Let me just read through the interviewing question itself, right? So murderers in a field, you are guarding 100 murderers in a field and you have a gun with a single bullet. If any one of the murderers has a non-zero probability of surviving, he will attempt to escape. If a murderer is certain of that, he will not attempt an escape. How do you stop them from escaping? And I was reading through this and I thought, man, this is great. This is so good. How do they even come up with these questions? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you uh, to my thought process here because it, you can see it has 4 million, um, 4 million views. Uh, it was basically uh, yesterday. So it will probably have way more and it has a lot of comments and a lot of people are trying to uh, solve the problem, right? And like like you guys know, I'm, I'm the, I won the Nobel Prize of Simplification and i just going to try to solve it uh, the way I think it's going to work, right? So please read through this and if let me know in the comments what you guys think it should be. Uh, I'm very, very curious to see what you guys come up with. How, how would you solve that? Uh, what is the answer here? What is your thought process? I really, really want to know that. Uh, put it in the comments down below. And for the people that are not yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you very much. So basically, the first thing we need to check here is um, you're guarding 100 murderers. I think this 100 is, it doesn't really matter if you're guarding 10, 20, 1 million, right? So that's, we can remove that from the equation. And then you have this gun with a single bullet. I saw in the comments, um, a lot of people say, yeah, but a gun with a single bullet, they don't know how many bullets you have. And they you, they make it as uh, complex. They make it complex. Uh, there's a certain common uh, mistake I see a lot of people make. I don't think it really matters if you have a single bullet or 20,000 bullets because the most important thing we need to basically check is um, this statement here, right? If any of the murderers has a non-zero probability of surviving, right? He will attempt to escape. What does that mean? A non-zero probability of surviving. That basically, that basically means that the moment the, my, the probability of surviving is bigger than zero, I will just escape. But if I am 100% sure that I'm going to die, I will not attempt an escape. So basically, it's this equation that really doesn't make sense. Because think about this, right? So let's think about this. Let's just draw a person here, right? Yeah, you can see this. So this is you, for example. Well, it looks like a Ninja Turtle, I'm going to lie. And I put a gun to your face, like between your eyes, right? On the temple, right? And it doesn't really matter if there is one bullet or 20 bullets in the gun, there is one bullet loaded here, right? The bullet is loaded. And I'll pull the trigger. I cannot miss because the gun is on your temple, the gun is between your eyes. You still have a chance of surviving because the gun get, could get jammed, right? It could get jammed. Even though there are six bullets in a gun and I shoot six times, it could be, it could be jamming six, six times. You know what I mean? So there is always a small probability that even though from a human perspective brain, what are the odds that this is gonna happen? The odds are gonna be zero, but actually it's not, right? I could even die from a heart attack the moment I want to shoot you. What is the chance it's going to happen? It's nothing. 
from our perspective, but from a pure mathematical, theoretical perspective, there is still a chance. A small one. Maybe unmeasurable. You cannot see it. You know what I mean? It's like, but there still is. It's never zero. So given knowing this, how do you stop them from escaping? You don't. Because from a pure mathematical, logical standpoint, well, logical, mathematical standpoint, there is always a zero probability of surviving, a non-zero probability of surviving. You know what I mean? But this is basically the first thing that came in my mind. It's like, listen, you can't, right? There is always, there is always a chance that I'm going to survive no matter what. Even though there is a machine gun with one trillion bullets or 100 bullets and they shoot, they could all miss, you know? But how do you stop them from escaping? I think we need to play a psychological warfare here, right? If I, if, if, if I need to give an answer that's basically not, you can't, then I would say, okay, listen, Let's play a psychological warfare because if I'm saying here, if I need to guard this field, right? I'm here with my gun. It doesn't really matter how many bullets I have. I have a gun, right? This is a weird gun, but it is what it is. I would just say, okay, guys, listen. The first one that will try to escape will get shot and die. Simple. So, from a human brain's perspective, right? if you are in this field and you know that, okay, if I'm going to try to escape the first one, we will die. In my mind, in my brain, in his brain, he, he, it's here. Let's take, it's, it's not that easy to understand. But if I'm this person, what I'm thinking here, when somebody puts a gun on between my eyes, is that, okay, if he pulls the trigger, I will 100% die, right? There is no way in my brain that's going to think, okay, if he pulls the gun, he's going to get a heart attack or he's going to get jammed. That's not what's in my mind, right? In my mind, it's like, okay. Spiritus Santus, the game's over. GG, well played. The same thing goes here, right? These individuals, they know that basically that, okay, if I attempt an escape, I will get shot and die. So what they think is, okay, I need to wait. I'm not going to escape. Because if I do not escape, I have a 100% probability of surviving, which basically means I'm going to try to escape, which makes no sense. But if we reverse that, then we know that, okay, if I will escape, I will 100% die, so I won't. So everybody is basically just waiting until somebody escapes because they won't, right? In my mind, I'm going to stay here. If I'm in that field, I'm not going to try to escape. I'm going to wait till some other fool tries to escape. But nobody's going to do that because they all think the same. This is like, this is more turning into a phys uh, physiological, uh, how do you say that? Um, philosophy, philo philo philosopher thingy. But that's what I would do. That, that would be my best bet. My, the simplest way I would solve that is that you play some kind of a psychological warfare because from a mathematical standpoint, the chances is always bigger than zero, right? It's always bigger than zero. But from a, from a, a, a human psychology perspective, the chances are always 100% that I'm going to die if I try to escape as first. How do I know that I'm uh, not first? Is to wait until somebody is first. And if everybody does the same, nobody escapes. That's basically what I think. So I'm actually very, very, uh, I'm going to read more through the answers on Twitter as well, but I want to know exactly uh, what your thought process he is here. I, I, I think it's so cool to see because I don't think it's solvable. I don't think you can stop them from escaping pure from, a, from an analytical, uh, mathematical correct standpoint. 
but I don't think that's what they want to see. I don't think that's what they want to know, right? If you just answer like they, you can't stop them, I don't think that's good. They want to know why, and they also probably want to see the other parts. Um, you know what I mean? I'm not sure. Like, like I said, I'm not an Einstein. I'm not the smartest kid on the block. I'm just trying to be logical here. Maybe I missed something. Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.